Hello, this is Brighton TV and this is the match preview for Brighton vs Sheffield United. And we're back from the winter break, so hopefully the players are refreshed and they've been training. So hopefully they're back together with the new signings, being together with the group for the first time. And I think this is the time where we need to change our form. Since we have not won in 2020, hopefully that improves. We've had four draws and two losses. We need that in to, to improve. And last time when we played vs Watford, we didn't create enough and defensively we made too many errors. There's times when we were just having controlled attacks and the uh, defenders, they'd lose the ball or the midfielders would lose the ball and then Watford would counter-attack and they, uh, they scored uh, one of the times but then the other few times when they did do that, they ended up missing and we were lucky by that. But versus Sheffield United, I don't think we'll be as lucky. Their forwards are more clinical and they'll be looking for Europe since they're sixth place and with City banned, it's closer for them to go into the Champions League places. That's what they'll be wanting now. And if they do get the chance, they will take it. We can't let them have the chance. And creating chances wise, we created one or two um, chances where we could have scored versus Watford other than the goal. And that needs to improve. We need to make that four, five or six where it's not just we didn't create enough chances since the forwards, they did not have enough supply to go and get any chances to go and win the game for us. So that's a problem that needs to improve. And Sheffield United, they're in really good form. They've won three out of their last five games and they've only lost one of their last seven. They'll be, they're in really good form. And last time they played, they played Bournemouth and they won 2-1. So they'll be confident for this match. And last time we played Sheffield United, it was at home and Sheffield United beat us 1-0. And in my opinion, they've been the best team at the Amex this season. And versus them this time, I think it could be a similar story. So we need to change it since Sheffield United, they will restrict us. They won't let us play how we want to play. And that's how they like to play. They make the opponents play worse than what they normally can. So that's what we need to be uh, careful of. We need to be more direct. So then there's more chances for players like Glenn Murray for our strikers to go and get the chances to go and score. And my lineup, uh, my formation that I think Potter should choose is a 3-5-2. And that's because Sheffield United, they also play a 3-5-2. And if we play three, I think three at the back will be needed to cope with their two really um, big uh, strikers and I think two up front will be needed because last time when we played Sheffield United um, uh, uh, Neil Malpai was our only striker and he couldn't do anything he just wasn't able to do anything but I think two up top will be better to cause Sheffield United some problems and in goal I think Matt Ryan should be in goal with a back three of uh, Dunk, Duffy and Dan Byrne and that's because I think Dan Byrne is really good as the left-sided centre-back with Dunk. Obviously, he's one of our best players. And Duffy, although he made a few mistakes versus Watford, I think he, now he'll be better. And also, this is a game where aerially he, he'll be needed. So that's why I think uh, Duffy will play instead of Webster. And then the wing-backs for this game, I think will be Bernardo and uh, Lamptey. And Bernardo, I thought, he pl I thought think, judging as his height, it will be better for him than Solly March. And I think we might be a bit more defensive for this game because Sheffield United at home are really attacking. So that's why I think Bernardo over Solly March. And I think Lamptey will be good for us because attacking-wise, when he played for Chelsea, he was really good at attacking. So that's why I think he can be good for us. And also, he's got a lot of pace, so he can be using that for counter-attacks. And the midfield three, I think it should be proper Alzate and Basuma. Foppers, in my opinion, has been one of our best uh, midfielders this season. And I think Alzate should play with him since versus Watford. He played really well. And I think Basuma will go and give us a bit of energy that was missed. So that's why I think Basuma should play. And with Stevens injured, I think this is why them three should be played in midfield. And I don't think Moy should play in centre mid because um, he doesn't play as well in centre mid as a number 10. So that's why I think he shouldn't play. And then the two up top, I think it should be Glenn Murray and Neil Malpai. Glenn Murray, he holds the ball up really well. He gets lots of free kicks and he knows where the um, net is. So that's why I think he should play. And I think um, Murray and Malpai could be a really good partnership 
Malpai, his link up plays really good. He plays well um, playing with the midfield and linking them to the attack. So that's why I think it should be uh, Murray and Malpai, the front two. And my score predictions for this match, I think it'll be 2-2. Two, two. I think Billy Sharp and Lundstrom will score for them. And for us, I think it'll be Glenn Murray and Lewis Stunk. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Brighton TV and follow us on Instagram.